Welcome one, welcome all to another race of our Fire Leaf Green Any Percent Tournament Round 2. This race is between Main97, Kadir, and Randall. Uh, I am commentating, I'm KidRocker96, along with my co-commentator, Pande1002. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. How do you feel about their Squirtles? Um, I honestly think that Main has the best Squirtle. Kadir having 12 HP is very scary. Um, could have situations where he's kicked out of Torrent. And, uh, Randall's not got a bad Squirtle, but Main's definitely clearly the best. Um, hey, and for now, we are gonna get them going, and they will be released soon. Uh, so we have Main is the only one on console, so Kadir and Randall will both be doing the 25 second penalty for emulator, and we should see them starting soon here. And Main is off. Um... Looking more into their Squirtles, um, all of them have decent attacks, so they should be able to kill a level 3 Pidgey if needed. Um, Main's the only one with 30 special attack, so a little bit worse, but still very good. Um, Kadir has 31 speed, so he's going to either be getting 5 speed EVs, or he is going to be forced into doing... Uh, guard spec Bruno strats. Randall, on the other hand, with 29. Oh, Main also has 31. So he's in the same situation as Kadir. So we see them going through the house, going, talking to Oak, and collecting their Squirtles, while we see Main, or Kadir and Randall going through the intro. Pretty basic stuff. So we see uh, Main collecting the Squirtle, gonna nickname it, and then from there he is going to reset the Squirtle. Well, he's gonna reset to his backup Squirtle. And then we will get on, and uh, Main actually has Mana, so he is the only one that has a chance to miss his attacks going into this fight. Well, because he has to Leer turn one while Randall and Kadir have Rash and Mild, so they won't have to Leer. See Main get a bubble sword tackle miss, which is really good to see. Less chance of him dying. And ooh, he gets crit, so that that miss is going to help a lot. He crits it back. And that's a pretty quick fight for Main. And he did not miss any of his tackles. Did not. So as they are leaving this route here, they are going to either get, uh, they have to kill one Mon for experience, uh, they might get two to try and get early bubble, and then they're going to get Pokeballs and then try and catch some Mons. We got Randall and Kier also finishing up their rival fights. Main gets a level 3 Pidgey, will he fight it? He will not, he runs away from the Pidgey with is Hwanli Lee's strats.
Bane gets another Pidgey, but it's level 2. Fear getting a rat. Level 3. And Randall going up through the route and getting no encounters. Wow. That's a surprise. Okay, we see Randall getting the parcel going back down, Main getting another encounter. Three encounters in the route and it's another bird. And he's going for it. We'll see if he will get their sh three shot or not. And he ta misses tackle, wow. That's very unlucky. We get Kadir getting another rat. He's probably gonna go for bubble here. And main gets a four shot two down to six HP as Randall is heading back into the lab. Now, is there a correlation between wanting to learn bubble and the type of Squirtle you have? Um, depending on your speed stat. So like uh, modest, you normally want to get bubble. Um, if you have 31 speed, you want bubble because then you have the chance of getting the rest of your speed EVs from fighting Josh and Mount Moon. Um, otherwise, it's just safety, whether you get bubble or not, because it doesn't have a chance to miss and you hit harder with bubble compared to tackle. So, Randall over here with a commanding lead compared to the other two, just because he hasn't gotten any encounters. Main getting really unlucky with his Pidgeys. He's gotten three birds going up the route. So we'll see if Randall gets any encounters. If not, then he's going to have to get his experience in the forest. Okay, he does get an encounter. It's gonna be a rat, level three. So he's got his experience, but he's gonna be going into the the start with no catches unless he gets a 1% encounter here. Gets the unnecessary crit on the last turn, and he is out of Route 1 at a 622. Crazy fast so far. Okay, we'll see if Main will get his... Another bird! Level 3, he's probably gonna bubble this. It's at the half, that's a 78% catch. The deer also get a level 3 bird. That much higher than HP than main, so he has less likely to die here. Main's probably definitely gonna get 3 potions here, just because of how low his HP is. He's gotten one from the Mark guy, and then he's gonna probably grab the two that's in Forest. So both Main and Kadir have one catch so far. Correct. And Main getting another bird. So many birds. As Randall enters Forest and Kadir gets his rat, so Kadir's gonna leave this Route 1 with Bubble and two catches. We'll see if Randall's encounter luck is as good in the forest as it was in Route 1. So far so good. Really good luck in the encounters. Going that far without an encounter is actually really good here because he is more likely to get either one or two encounter forests than anything. He gets two encounters. He's probably going for the potion, that's why he's on the right side here. 
as we see main going up route two seeing if he gets the one percent he does not if he was to get that one percent he was really looking for a rat there Randall getting the potion is he gonna save he looks like he's potioning first and then saving yes Is there ever a time you don't want to save? Um, if you're a bubble and you have a bunch of potions, you can play it to the point of not being risky and just potion everything. But if you get unlucky crit, then that's just the end of it and you're heading back to mom and running all the way back. Uh, we got Randall getting poisoned, so that's good. Having to do a tackle fight instead of bubble. So you see main getting an encounter. That'll be a second forest encounter. Is that Kadir's first encounter for this forest? No, that's Kadir's second encounter. See Ming grabbing the potion, and ooh, Kadir getting a 1% encounter. Main's healing and saving for the Sammy fight. Randall having what looks like a pretty slow Sammy fight, but he's through with poison, so that's good. As long as he has clean rocks split from here on out, he should have a decent time. Kadir getting a level 3 Pikachu. At least it's not level 5, he can run away from that. Randall out of the forest. So did Randall only get two encounters in the forest? Correct. Randall got two encounters in Forest and one encounter in Route 1. So Randall is speedy. Main getting no poison, so he's at very high HP. I would not be surprised to see him uh, risk uh, Liam here, being up at 18 HP. We may also see Kadir leave. The Sammy fight with no poison as well and high HP because of that heal there. And yes, it seems like we will with that screen. String shot. See Randall enter the Liam fight. Did he save? Pretty sure he had to have saved there. It's very risky if he didn't save. I was looking at main, so I don't know. Say so we're seeing main save now. Randall getting fence curl, really good there if he can get the two shot. He hits it and he is on to Brock. Very fast time so far. Let's see if he can get a 13 minute Brock with no catches. Probably gonna be something like a low, low to mid 14, which is kind of slow, but. See, main going in high HP with Strew. He crits it. Maybe he can get the two shot here. Scratch, that's really good there. Getting him closer to Torrent, but not necessarily. Ooh, and he misses the range. Even the Shrew at 1 HP. Kadir getting tackled from the view, dude. Hoping to get hit a little bit more. Randall going into the Brock fight. We'll see if he can hit the range here. Gets tackled. That's really good. Does he get the range? It looks like he does. Randall is moving on with really good HP out of the Brock fight. Here down to 15 HP after the sand shrew. Not great, but not terrible. 
hoping to be a little bit lower. See if Main gets tackle here. Does. Down to good HP. Now he just needs to hit the range. I'm honest. Randall with a 1357 Brock with no encounters. Hoping that he can get some fast ones. Main can tackle there. He hits the range. He's through as well. So far, good Brock times. We'll see if Kadir can follow it up with another Brock fight that's solid. Level 11, so he hits the range there. We'll see if he stalls at all on this Onyx, or if he just goes. So while Randall is technically currently ahead, how far ahead would you actually consider him, uh, since he doesn't have any catches? I'd probably say, like... Maybe 20-30 seconds. Kadir went for withdrawal. He needs to hit this range if he's going to survive. He does. Going in... Leaving Brock at 5 HP, definitely the best HP that we've seen leaving Brock. But he also has the lowest time, but he has two catches, so it's not as bad as it seems. So we Randall have Randall with his running shoes. We have no catches from Randall, one catch for main, and two catches for Kadir. Okay, so Randall's heading into this fight. He got 11 HP. He's gonna want to tackle... Uh, unless he gets a plus 3 on his HP here, he's gonna want to probably bubble this last Caterpie. Try and get a tackle here. Uh, we're gonna see if Kadir does the late surge shopping or not. Randall gets string shot, unlucky. Stalling with tackle. Yeah, it seems like Kadir's going late surge. Uh, we'll see if he buys. Yeah, he buys paralyzed heal. So yeah, he's going late surge. Randall getting unlucky and not getting hit at all. Main also at pretty high HP. He's gonna want to get hit at least once, if not more. So at their current HPs, Main and Randall will end up leveling out of torrent, correct? Correct. Uh, both will level out at level 14. If main gets hit, he'll have it for 14, but not 15. It looks like he does. So main will have some time to save on Randall just for the fact that he's getting torrent here, while Randall is having to do two, maybe even three mons where he's gonna have to two shot them. Well, Kadir's saving all the time because he's not even gonna have to stall at all. He's just gonna have Torrent throughout this whole route. So with Randall being mild with 30 defense, he is currently in 1 in 16 range for him to do Rocket, but he also still has to get his encounter, so we'll see if he gets hit at all to make him do a different uh, Mount Moon optional. With the HP that main is at, it's very unlikely that he goes for Rocket Spinner. He's gonna be getting his second HM Slave in Route 4, so he's not gonna be taking damage before his Moon Optional. Um, interested to see which Optional he goes for. 
Randall gets a bird. And it's looking likely that Kadir will actually pop out a torrent before 16, so he's not going to be going for bug catcher. Maybe he goes for uh, probably Josh here just to get the five speed EVs. We also might see main do Josh here because of the five speed EVs. And with Randall at 29, if he gets at least three speed EVs and the Carbos, he will be able to outspeed. So he might go Josh here, but we'll see. Did see main me. grab the Prism Berry? Um, I'm not sure. He might have just yellowed not grabbing it. But I know Randall did, and so up. did Kadir. He looks like Main's going for Rocket Spinner for his optional, though. Interested to see if he saves or if he just go for goes for. He does not save. He's just full on yelling. He's got the revive, so it's gonna suck if he has to use it here. But we'll see how he does. Randall going for the hiker. He gets main gets quick attack. Does he hit the range? He does not. He's gonna have to heal here. Gets hyper fang down to 16. That's not great HP out of this fight. He definitely wanted to get a quick attack there instead of a tail whip. We see Kadir entering in Josh fight, no save. And Randall having a pretty anticlimactic fight. Yeah, he went into the fight of the safest, safest but slowest of Marcos. Where if he's low enough HP, he could go for um a level out of level up to level 17 early for the nerd. And then he will have better ranges if he's in Torrent. But if not, then it's just a safety play to go with Marcos. And Kadir down to 3 HP. Yeah, it's looking like he got double quick attack there. And then just hit the range on the Zubat. See Randall passing the sp rocket spinner safely. And we have Main who's going into this rocket fight. He's gonna have to try and get hit to get Torrent back if he's gonna wanna keep up with Randall who's coming in hot with some better HP than he has. 19 of 49, that's still a little high. Not great to see. Maybe he gets hit by the Zubat. Randall coming into this fight with 22 of 47, it's still not great either. And Randall gets a tackle miss. That's very unlucky. 5% miss right there. The main is out and starting the nerd. When we see Kadir entering this rocket fight, he has the best HP coming into this, and he has two catches, so he could very easily catch up to these two. Possibly come out ahead after the Route 4 to see if he get if the other two get encounters right away. He gets a quick attack, down to 1 HP. Very risky right there. Main just barely in Torrent. He's in perfect Torrent right now. Randall's out of Torrent, so he's gonna have a slow fight. He gets Disable Miss. Now Main levels out, so he's gonna have two shot. Oh no, he's done with the fight. Never mind. So he's actually at good HP right now and exiting. He's just gonna have to hope to get a good rat encounter here.
Looks like Kadir healed heading into this fight. He's now at 21, so he's out of Torrent. Opting for the slower fight for safety. See main grabbing Mega Kick, or as a lot of runners like to call it, Mega Miss. 75% accuracy move, but 120 base power. We're gonna need a lot for a lot of grass types as he goes into the grass and see if he gets the encounter. He gets a Huanli Ways. He gets a Mankey. Unlucky first encounter. Gets a Rat second encounter. It's not terrible. Would prefer to stand true, but going into this is not bad. He gets crit down to 9 HP. Hoping that he gets this in the ball. Does not look guaranteed. Gets in. See Randall hopping into that same grass. See if he gets a good encounter first off. He gets a shrew. He gets a better encounter. We see him main going grabbing rare candy, and we're gonna see him candy twice, teach fight over bubble, and then probably save for this misty fight. Now Kadir is slightly ahead of Randall since he already had his two catches. And we see Main and Kadir both teaching Bite over Bubble and canning up their four turtles. The only difference is that Kadir is outside of the gym while Main is inside the gym. So it's going to be definitely close here. See if anyone has a bad Misty. Hopefully not. Kadir entering the center and just full on healing with the center for safety instead of using more potions. See, main getting water pulse into confusion to use his person berry. Hopefully he doesn't get any water pulses from the star me, but he does crit the star you. He is more likely to get swift here with Modest and 22 defense over um, 29 special defense. So that's always good to see. As we see, Randall and Kadir pretty much almost even on this Misty fight, both on Staryu. Randall about a turn behind. We'll see if either of these two will hit ranges. As Main's at exiting Misty at decent HP. Kadir getting confused having used the Person Berry. Kadir going for Water Gun while Randall goes for Tackle. Going to see if either of them get crit. Nope. And they're both through. Kadir at actually really good HP. Um. He is in. He is actually safe from the Bulbasaur Vine Whip if he goes in HP with this, just hoping to get not hip from the Pidgeotto. Hoping for that flinch as we see main saving for Rival 2. This is where Mega Miss comes into play. We have. These racers having to use their first mega kick on the Bulbasaur. The main goes for the water pulse. Does not hit the range and he gets sand attack from 18. It's very unlucky on his end. Kadir going one tile beforehand and saving. Very monk ass. We're probably. Main fainting. Never mind. 
Ooh, very unlucky to get that quick attack there. Now he's probably just gonna have to either uh, use his revive or hope for the flinch. Oh, what's he gonna do? It's potioning. That's not gonna end up well. He's gonna have to potion again here. Randall having to switch out because Sand Attack could ear through the Pidgeotto. Main kicking for his life, he hits it. Kadir having to now kick- Oh, he gets crit! No, dude! And Randall is now ahead of Kadir. Randall getting a sleep powder, having to heal it. Is main gonna risk the 6 HPs, or are you gonna heal? He's going to heal this. Randall having to kick for his life now. And he hits. We'll see. Will Kadir hit his kick? He will not. He misses. Gets sleep powder. Very unlucky. Now he's gonna have to kick for his life. And he misses again, and there's the reset. See Main and Randall getting done with the rival fight now as Kadir has to restart it. And now for our very exciting bridge. We've got a bridge where we have to hit one mega kick and the rest of it's a free fight. As long as they hit the right moves, should be easy easy through this whole bridge. Here, will he get the flinch? He does not. He gets sleep powder and then he's gonna have to kick for his life. Lives on four. That was a low roll. And he, and he misses, misses again! That is three mega kick misses so far. He's gonna use the revive again. Let's hope it goes better this time. Hopefully. See Main heading up to the first Oddish, see if he's gonna kick this. Deer finally hits a Mega Kick, fourth Mega Kick going in. Main decides to double bite the Oddish. He did get the flinch. Fight also deciding to double bite the Oddish. Oh, we see Kadir getting through the rival fight. Is there a specific percent chance of getting flinch after a bite? Fight has a 30% chance to flinch. Misty didn't go too terrible.
You're welcome. Main finished Misty first, and then technically Kadir, then Randall. However, Kadir and Randall were about like two seconds from each other. Both, yeah, both Kadir and Randall were very close. And then Kadir had one rival death and then had to use his revive on his second attempt on rival. So Main took a huge lead on Kadir, and Randall started to pass him up too. So now we got Kadir and Randall probably about like two fights apart while Main is skyrocketing in front. See Main grabbing the ether. Um, we'll see if he what kind of Dan pass he does by where he sets up. Looks like he's just gonna yellow it or double bag because he is on the right side of that hiker. Got pretty boring bridge so far. Nothing too exciting going on. Oh, he got the 1 in 16 quick spin. No, dude. Bane having to fight Dan here. That's going to have some time save for Randall Kadir. Randall's all but pretty much caught up here because of that. Randall going for the double bag on Dan here. And he is now ahead of Maine. Crazy how one mistake or one punishment can bring someone back. See Kadir going and getting the nugget, having to fight the rocket trainer. We're getting up on fights where Randall and Main are gonna have to hit mega kicks or take the slowness of double biting auditions. They're only like four or five seconds apart. It's very close between the two. Any one bad thing happens to one of them and it could completely throw off who's in front. Fight Hiker Franklin if you're doing late search? Correct. So, Kadir and Main, or Kadir and Randall are doing late search while Main is doing early search. Depending on your stats, it will be the difference if you're fighting Franklin or the other hiker. I don't remember his name at the moment. So, main getting the range. His name is Wayne. That's it. Randall hitting his kick. Main going for double bite. Randall is through. Kadir going for a double bag minute. The safe Wanley chicken pass. Now the difference here that you're going to see between Randall and Main is you're going to see Randall going to skip the ether. Um, Main's going to be grabbing the ether because uh, what's going to happen here is Main is going to be going into this row fight and then uh, having to the heal kicks and then taking the heal afterwards while Randall's going to be taking the boat heal before the rival fight and then trying to get low enough HP to carry him through Rock Tunnel. Main, that's one of the main differences between Late Surge as well as some other small things. 
Uh, main yes. hit all Oddishes. Except for going for the Water Pulse range after hitting Dan. So, we see Randall heading into this rocket fight. We'll see if he can hit his Meg Kick on his, the Drowsy. Not he could get major punishment for it. As we see main right behind him. And we see Kadir heading into the double Oddish Girl. See if he will go for kicks or if he will do the chicken strat and bite. Randall hitting his kick. Kadir going for the mega kick. He hits on one. See if he hits on the other one. His main also hits his kick on the drowsy. Kadir hitting both kicks on the Oddish, and he is through the Mega Miss portion of Route 25. see Kadir also grabbing the ether, which is interesting because he is probably doing late surge because he fought Wayne. And he also did late surge shopping. Correct. So de definitely interesting safety play to grab the ether. Seems like Kadir is going for a lot of safety plays. Healing on 1 HP on the right before the nerd. Takes the center heal. He got the ether in Route 25. I mean, with his rival death, going safety now should help. Hopefully. Randall getting through the Josh. Or the Camper Jeff fight. He is now grabbing the Bike Voucher. And yeah, with an update to the race, uh, it's actually a 2.10.04. We're going off race time times because that timer was split a little late. Uh, for a third place, they have to get a 2.10.04 or better to advance. So, Kadir playing safe here could not be as good of a situation as many may think. Depending on how bad the rival fight actually was, he may have to go a little riskier. He missed that kick. Missing that kick is never great. Lucky that he got the confusion instead of getting a hypnosis. See Randall saving for the rival fight. Hoping that he gets a fine whip here after hitting his mega kick on the Venusaur. Or not on the Venusaur, on the Ivysaur. Is this Main where our 1% kick comes in? No, that's the next rival fight. They get quick attack crit, that's actually not bad at all. Yes, main. Slowpoke gives HP IVs. That is why Slowpoke is the best. See Randall going for the mega kick and he hits into Overgrow and he gets Sleep Powder. Unlucky. Really wanted a Vine Whip there. Main it's crits Vine whip. the bite and flinches. He misses his kick afterwards. No, dude. At Randall one HP. He's definitely super pushing here. Kadir hitting his kick on the Raticate, heading into Vermilion. Main hits his second kick though.
Hello, Pokemon Speedruns TV Raiders. Hope you all were well and had an exciting race. We have now our second race of the day. We had Kadir who died on Rival 2 once. Main missing kicks on the Rival fight also making him slow. And then Randall actually decent pace so far doing late surge. Having a good Rival 3 fight. See Kadir get sand attack, so he's gonna swap out to the Pidgey. Swap back in that high HP open to get the kick hit into Vine Whip. Randall got unlucky and didn't get that, but hopefully Kadir can. Got the kick hit. Will he get no P gets Sleep Powder? Unlucky, but it missed. That's very high HP. And this is where we're going to see route differences between Main and Randall and Kadir, because Main's going for early surge where the other two will be doing late. So we see Main entering the surge gym. We'll see if he can get some good cans. He gets the first can! Could he get god cans? He does not. Still very good to get first can though. See Kadir finishing off the rival fight. Bean picks the second can correctly and is on his way to the surge fight after the small detour to Tucker. We see Randall getting to the Alicia fight. We'll see if he can hit some mega kicks. He hits the first one. Pretty sure with Light Surge, some of these uh, Bell Sprouts are bite ranges. So he goes for Water Pulse there and Torrent to guarantee it. Main is saving for Surge Fight. I don't think he equipped Citrus. I don't think he grabbed it at all. But I'm not 100% sure. Randall hitting his second kick on the Oddish. Main getting Shockwave crit turn 1. Very unlucky there. With his... Special defense, he is going to take 42 max. He is in high roll range. So if he gets high roll here, he is. He gets shockwave turn one. What is happening? And he, as long as he hits this water pulse, he has an amazing fight. And he is through. That was an amazing fight there. And by that standard, Main has probably just passed up Randall there. See Randall heading into the rock tunnel now. As Ming gets the bike voucher and Kadir is heading towards the Alicia fight. 
going to be very close between main and Randall now. See if Kadir can hit his mega kicks. He hits the first one. Pretty sure this bite is a range. Because he's also doing late surge. Gets his second one. Randall punches the slow poke. Here's through Alicia. As we see Kadir finishing Alicia, we see Main starting Alicia and Randall saving from Martha. That hiker does not want to spin for Kadir. Wow, that that lost him at least like four or five seconds there. Just due to that spike, that hiker not wanting to spin. Main hits his first kick. Will he match Randall hitting his second kick? Randall bites the first Oddish, gets paralyzed. Goes for the water pulse, hits the range. Main, Main hits, hits the his second kick. kick. Like that, Main seems to be just barely ahead in there. Randall hitting a kick on the Bulbasaur, easy Martha fight. Main misses the run to bike, just goes for the bag minute for safety. Exactly, Mockwing. It's never when you're on pace that you hit your kicks. It's always during the races that don't matter. We see Kadir starting rock tunnel movement. We'll see. Ooh, Randall having a little struggle there. We'll see if Randall does anything special with the spinner and rock tunnel because he's going to be the first one to get there. Randall, you're supposed to be focusing, not commenting. Randall always comments in his races. Bad I Randall. Don't care. We see Ming picking up the super potion safety as he dances around the entrance. Good movement for Kadir there. Randall only a little bit high on that. Or a little bit low on the Sophia trainer. In your opinion, is there a worse fight in uh, Rock Tunnel? Uh, definitely. Martha is the most likely one to kill you. But uh, as far as missing mega kicks, I've seen people miss the most mega kicks on the uh, Donna fight. That's the last one. We see Kadir start the Martha fight as we speak of it. Goes for a bite, gets a really good hit and flinches, and he goes for the range. Gets it. Now we'll see if he can hit the kick on the Bulba. He and he does. Kick. Kadir has not missed a mega kick since that Rival 2 fight where he missed three in a row. Risking some tiles there, interesting.
Okay, we're, we're soon gonna see if Randall will hit his spinner as Main comes up on Martha, deciding to double bite the Oddish. Gets Poison Powder. Goes to heal it. Randall going for the safe bag manip on the spinner. And goes for the elixir as well. Saving all five kicks for the Donna fight. For him to hopefully not miss any of them. As Main misses a mega kick on the Bulbasaur. Gets a razor leap down to 5 HP. And he hits his second one. Very close there. Does anyone have any revives? Uh... Kadir used his. I think Randall and Main still have theirs. Randall hitting his kick on an Oddish. Definitely looking like a close race between R Randall and Main. Definitely going to come down to the wire when we see them in Rival 4. Who's going to come out in the head? Did main not elixir? He might have elixired before the first fight. In Rock Tunnel. I wasn't really paying attention. Or, oh, he used it on his, uh, repel after... Uh, Martha, didn't he? I've seen it, I've done it before on that second repel. So doesn't Late Surge normally end up with slightly less uh, X EXP? throughout the whole rest of the game? So, Late Surge actually gets more EXP because they get the Surge EXP after they use their Rare Candies for 36. Oh. So, by the time that they're done with Koga, they are uh, candying to level 42. And then, from there, they are just normally higher see Kadir entering the Donna fight seeing if he will hit his mega kick as Randall is going to just water pulse this rat and be done with kicks unless he goes for mega kick strats Kadir hitting his kick we see main pet about to finish this fight going to Pass the spinner, seeing if he will pass it safely or if he'll risk anything. And he yoloed it.
main see, missing main is Mega Kick. Gets poison powder from it too. Could be risky if he doesn't. Alright, he's just going straight for that antidote, not risking anything. He hits a second Mega Kick though, so it's not bad. See Randall head in through the rocket hideout. Grabs rare candy. Decides to not risk that rocket at all. Okay, as we see Rocket fa or Randall face these Rocket grunts. He's gonna finish these two and then he's gonna candy three times from third level 33 to level 36, allowing him to evolve his War Turtle into a Blastoise. And then he is going to do uh he's gonna get fly, he's going to do his shopping. He's going to get the T, and then he's going to bike back to Vermilion to face Surge. That all is about a 45 second uh, detour compared to early Surge where we just get fly, do our shopping, and then head and we fly to Lavender. So after Giovanni, we're going to start to see really where these runners are going to match up more. See Randall going up against this Arbok. Not sure if this is a range of light surge. Don't think it is. I think they just have to go for the bite water pulse because they are too low on their experience to actually have that be a range. Is it a range for early surge? Yes, it is. That is a depending on your special attack stat. It's either a uh, 7 and 16 or a 9 and 16 if I remember correctly. Let me double check that. It's a 7 and 16 or a 10 and 16. So now we see Randall evolving. Now he's going to... Take on Giovanni here and then do all the special things that Late Surge does. Randall named his Sandshrew A. Got that small time save versus everyone. A for Ananan. See main doing left key guy fight. Gotta get that key so that you can go up and face Giovanni. Okay, he goes Randall goes for the water pulse. Get the bite. Will he heal this? Goes for the bite. He's risking a crit. Gets a flinch. Good fight for Randall. He's also in Torrent, so him going into the Surge fight, he's just going to have a clean fight, not have to worry about anything. Water Gun, Water Gun, Water Pulse. So when we see him, he's going to grab a Fly, he's going to do his X item shopping, and then from there he's going to 
grab tea and bike the surgeon. gin. Main about one flight behind Kadir. Definitely close between them two, but... Main's gonna take the lead on Kadir when he goes to take the detour for Surge, since Main has already done Surge. So here we're gonna see Randall, if he's planning on doing X-Attack strats, he's going to buy one X-Attack anywhere in the range of 4 to 6 speeds. He's going to buy 21 specials, and then extra X accuracies, and... He bought 22. Specs. He bought 22. Interesting for him to buy 22. I think I you normally buy 23 with the late surge route. Let me check. So he might have just bought one less so that he can get the extra X accuracy. Not, I'm not too sure what shopping is specifically for late surge. If you have more than two mega kicks left, you want 22 to 23 X specials. If you're low on mega kicks, you want 24. Okay, so now we see Kadir entering the Giovanni fight and Mains Candering is War Turtle evolving. We'll see. Kadir's at very high HP right now, so he's hoping for some mega punches from this Kangaskhan. Tail whip, turn one. Hopefully, he gets a mega punch, otherwise, this is gonna be him having a kick. As we see, Randall getting a 1% encounter in Route 6, heading back down to the Surge fight. Very unlucky there. As we see Kadir ending the Giovanni fight as Main is starting it. What will Randall's cans be like? They haven't started off good at all. See main starting Giovanni fight as well. Randall getting very unlucky cans. We'll see if main gets crit at all. Getting fake out turn one. I he's risking it. That's and he gets tail up. He's fine. Main gets through the Giovanni fight and. It's going to be really close who's going to be ahead between Randall and Main now. Uh, it depends on if Randall will ever, ever get a can. Ooh, I think it was one the middle right can that Randall got. Yeah, that's very unlucky. If he gets bad can cho second choice here, this is going to be not fun. Is that the last can to check? That's the last can that he did check, yeah. We see Main and Kadir both doing their X item buying, and Randall misses a second can. It's not good at all. Will he get his third can? Oh, and he hits the optional! He forgets the range of the optional, and he hits it. So he resets again. And it's the bottom can too, no dude. Randall having to reset four times for the fourth can. Very unlucky. Randall lost a ton of time there to do that. 
Now he's heading into Surge with the free Surge fight as Main's getting fly and he's definitely ahead now. Randall's at low enough HP where he just has to water gun, water gun, water pulse this and he's good. Skadir's heading down to Vermilion. Hopefully he can get better cans. Also looking like Kadir's either going to have to X special or he's going to have to mega kick this Raichu. Depending on how risky he wants to play. Kadir also not getting great cans so far. They see Randall getting through Surge. Main's heading up into Rival 4. Kadir finally finding his can and fighting Tucker. At least Kadir only has three options for a second can. Correct. Now we're seeing Randall doing the menu that Main just did, so he's somewhat behind Randall. Or he's somewhat behind Main. And this is not great for Randall at all. Hopefully that he can get some time save on main as they're going further. As Kadir gets his second can and we'll see how his fight goes. So this is our 1% kick miss fight. Rival, yes. As main is going for the kicks now. And he gets it. He gets the first one, but there's still one at least one more to go. Randall getting sand attack after guard specking. Main going for water gun trying to get hit a bit more. Gets hit 20 HP. Good HP. Main hits a second kick. And Kadir is through Surge. Randall's definitely gonna have to stall on this, uh... Gyarados a bit. Hoping to take some sort of damage. Main is out of the rival fight. 31 HP, that's still a little high for Randall. And hit to 15, that's better. So who are the mods that you would possibly kick in this the rival fight? fight? Um, so if you're not in torrent, you kick the bird. Um... You kick Ivysaur, and then you would kick the uh, Gyarados. You're not required to kick the Kadabra or the Growlithe, but if you have the kicks, you can go for it. Just to like save, Randall uh, just did. To save super effective text. As Randall is leaving the rebel fight, we see Kadir entering the rebel fight. You look like he's going for kick strats, but he's very high HP, wanting to get hit a bit. Interesting to see that he's going for kick strats here. He water pulses the bird. Interesting play because he's not in torrent there. Is water pulse arranged to kill the, bo the bird when in not in torrent? Correct. Looks in, looking like Kadir's probably going to stall a bit on this Gyarados. It's the rest of them 36. Not bad. He wants one more hit here. Might as well just go for the bite at this point at 23. 
Or he can mega kick there too. That bite definitely probably would have killed. See Ming coming up to the Marowak here now. All three of our runners are now in good HP. At least a little bit. They're low enough. See Clear going for the water gun on the Kadabra and he's through Rival 4. Um, main. I don't think any of our runners really want any quick attack here. Doesn't uh, late surge have a slight time save coming up? Correct. Um, Late Surge already bought the tea, or got the tea from the old lady, and then uh, when they have to fly, when uh, they're going to Saffron, they can just fly to the Saffron Mart, while Early Surge has to bike from Celadon into Saffron and then go to Sylphco from there. So oh, after Koga, they will have some time save on main. How much time does naming A on the sure actually save didn't? Wasn't it like two seconds or something like that that it saves? Like half a second. <laughs> okay, we'll see if Main gets any quick attack from these rats. Does not get from the first one. You water pulse the first rat. That's interesting. I'm confused as to why he's not water pulsing those or even biting water pulse just loses you time there especially seeing as he's in torrent so all of that kills so we see main finishing Oak Flute Fit split with a 117.07. We'll get to see how far off Randall is with his split once he's done. So, Randall is about 50 seconds behind, or more like 40 seconds behind Main here. So, he's not terribly far behind. Main gets a Kogi death or something like that, and Randall could definitely be taking the lead here. Definitely a close race, and Katir is not too far behind. Main deciding to just wow what is happening he would have been better off going underneath the first biker and then going from there but apparently he didn't trust his uh movement enough to do that
we see Randall going for old strats. Going for double bag, but interesting movement. He made it, though. He did. That's all that matters. Main about to enter Safari Zone. Does Kadir get any quick attacks? He does not on the first rat. Will he get it on the second rat? Does not. Nope. Means now grabbing a four star in Safari that we will use for later, right before uh, the Viridian Rival to get a quick heal up to full while still keeping our PP where it's at because taking a center is slow. Main grabbing gold teeth, does he grab the revive? He does. We'll see if Randall gets to revive. They are really close to each other. And we're about to seek Deer's biker pass as well. Randall grabbed the revive. Good spinner for main. Kadir going for the one bag minute be YOLO on the bikers. Still getting it though. Risking a 1 in 16 for them to spin on him. Apparently, main Definitely not to, main. Main talked to the uh, surf guy twice, apparently. He definitely didn't. Come on now. As we see him entering Koga's gym. And Randall is now on the same fight. Only two mons behind main. Very close race. And Randall's gonna have some time save on main coming up with the Erica because he is going to be candying here instead of later in the Erica split. While main is going to be waiting until later to candy up. So main had pretty good spinner luck so far in this trip. Main hits the range on the wheezing, and he has a clean fight. We'll see if Randall has the same clean fight or not. Muck is going to. Ooh, he crits the muck. Good fight. Good fight so far. 
What are the chances of dying on a Koga fight? There are a lot of things that can kill you on Koga. There's no really like, oh, it's this percent chance to die, like... There are multiple things that can kill you. Randall also gets the range, but also crits. So it seems like he has just a little bit better of a fight than Maintenance does save time to him here. Going down the water to the mansion, Randall getting strength from the warden. We see Kadir starting the Koga fights. We'll see if he had as clean fight of as the other two. And all three had very cooperating spinners in the Koga gym. So far. Will the muck be nice? An acid armor. He will not. He will minimize. Now Kadir has to hit a uh, 75% surf, and he does. Now will he get the range on the wheezing? Do you normally save for the Koga fight? If you don't have revives. He misses the range. Does he get sludge poison? He does not. Goes for the bite surf now. Pretty safe play. We've had... Oh, go ahead. Say we had no surge and no coca deaths this race. That's always good to see. See Main going through the gym puzzles. Trying not to accidentally say the wrong thing. As we see Randall teaching Blizzard in the mansion, doing the menu that Main will be doing in Erica's gym. And something I recently heard, if you answer correctly these questions, and then try again and answer wrong, you will still have to fight the person. That is correct. So don't keep clicking buttons. Seem main starting blame. He should have a clean fight here. Nothing too scary here. He's high enough speed that he doesn't have to set up the next speed, so he's just going and surfing or water pulsing everything. Pretty much Takano. If you say yes to Billy, there's no coming back here. As soon as unless, you yes. unless someone DNFs. But still, it, it's at the point where you're hoping on to pretty much a small speck of hope and you're pretty much probably DNFing. That's a 10 to 15 minute detour if you know what you're doing. It's always good to hold on to hope. Okay, we see main 
finishing up Blaine as Randall is starting it. Gonna have some time save between Main and Randall once uh, Main goes to the Erica gym because Main does have to menu while Randall did his menu already in the mansion as we see Kadir doing the same. Main and Kadir having a little high five as Main is leaving Blaine's gym and Kadir is entering. Flying to Celadon and biking to Erica's gym. Yeah, it would be very close to the 230 mark, even if they didn't DNF. If they said yes to Bill. Are they considered a DNF if they get over 230? Yes. We have a uh, hard cap of 230 for the races. So if someone gets over 230, then they're automatically a DNF. How many DNFs do we have this round so far? So far we have three. Yeah, three DNFs. And how many races have we had so far? We have had four races. This is our fifth. No, this is our sixth. We have one more race tomorrow. What is Kadir's current pace? Um... Let me check splits and I can kind of tell you. Cool. Kadir's probably about high 209, low 210 pace currently. Okay, so we see main. He's gonna X special, make this fight free. Get good drain from the Tangela. And then all he has to do is surf the Bioplume here. We'll see if Randall goes for the Blizzard. So far in the tournaments you've been in, has anyone said yes to Bill? No. Randall hits one blizzard. Is he gonna hit the second one? That's the main question. He, he does. Two seventy percent blizzards hit. Big skill. Okay, and we're about to see a little bit more time safe here with Randall where he gets to just fly the Saffron while Main, as you just saw, had to bike from Celadon to Saffron and go to Silphico.
How much faster is flying than biking for this specific part? I'd say probably like 10 seconds at most. Randall is not far behind at all. Main going interesting, going for potion into super potion. But he bagged after he was done with Thinner Pass. Which just confuses me. Everyone saw. Main just going straight into the self go. No save for that fight. We see Kadir heading to going through the Erica fight, seeing if he is he going for the blizzard. He is, and he hits it. Did Randall save? Or is he just going full yellow as well? I did not see him save. Randall saved? Okay. Because main definitely did not save. You think he saved? And I'm not giving me clear answers. You know, not I'm feeling why to. This main hit the 93%. According to oh. Randall, he saved. I don't know how reliable of a source that is, though. Randall being a source of his own self is pretty damn reliable. Like that main is through Silphco rival. Oh, main double exact. So he had a free fight. Randall on the other end had 93% because he got unlucky crit and couldn't go for the double exact. But since he bought six, he can now save that double exact for either Viridian rival or for um Lance. I think Kadir's starting to go towards self co rebel. We'll see. And he goes and does not save. He's at the point where he's just having to fall YOLO. He is currently behind Cooker's pace. And he is in third place. So he's definitely going to have to try and YOLO some stuff to make him some time. He gets crit as well, that's very unlucky. He's risking that. Ooh, is he in quick attack range? That's very close, I don't think he was. I think 13 was the high roll for quick attack. Yeah, 13 was his 1 in 16 high roll for that quick attack, so just barely out. He's gonna have to hit the second blizzard. He's good, hit the 93%. Main hit the 13 and 16 on the Kanga. He does. Randall very close behind him, only two mobs behind. 
very close race. It looks looking like Radian Rival or E4 are going to decide this race. Handled down to 8 HP there. Very, very risky. Going for that Kanga range. As we see main entering the Sabrina gym. Pretty easy puzzle to do. Just go corner, corner down. Randall taking the time to potion before escape roping. He's going to have to X speed on Sabrina here because he does not have the carbos. I don't think main grab did either, so he's X speeding on the Kadabra, which is interesting. Gets a reflect, so that's not bad at all. Randall did not carbos, from what I know. So Randall's also going to have to X speed here. Randall did not Carbos. Kadir has five speed EVs, so he just goes in. Not having to X speed at all, just hits her four times. And main is through the fight. There were no Surge or Koga deaths, Randall had very unlucky cans, and then hit the only, optional, so The only he... death that Kadir had was a uh, rival type, uh, rival two death. It's been very close, very clean race, other than Kadir having an unlucky death that set him back. Otherwise, everyone else has been just going at a normal fire leafing race. I mean, you're not wrong, Math Genius, but like, at the same time, if people are safe, then we won't have DNFs. But we'll see when it comes to E4. Could you? Man, there are more optionals left. She's not wrong. There are definitely a lot more optionals left to hit. I believe so far Randall's the only one who hit an optional, but he was able to reset and not actually fight. Correct. Randall hit the optional in Surge's gym, but saved for the cans beforehand, so he just instantly reset.
pretty basic fights here. Got all three going for surfs or water pulses, just one shotting everything. Some nice mesh A simulator. Yeah, Moxing, you're uh, mixing up races. Main had shockwave turn one into quick attack into hit uh, kick or hit pulse. Very clean fight. That is also correct, man. You got Shockwave from the uh, Voltorb to start and got hit to 42 HP. So he was 1 in 16 to die to the Shockwave. Now with that all done with and explained, we see Main finishing up the Giovanni fight. Not a bad time at all. 145, 144, it's all a decent time. Uh, we're gonna see him go full restore, repel before this rival fight. And then face the rival, unless he has a different uh, repel spot that he goes to. There are two different repel spots here. You can either repel before the rival fight, or you can repel in the badge check after you surf. And you're going to be giving yourself a lot more encounter tiles that you can do. So it looks like he does go for the super repel here. And then hopefully he hits his might or his blizzards. He is saving. One of Brando. the rare times that I see people actually save for this fight. Brandel leaving Giovanni as Kadir is starting. We'll see if both Randall and Main will have clean fights. It looks like Randall's going for the other repel setup. He's going to YOLO the uh, grass for 1% before and after the rival fight. So waiting to repel, is that going to take up a second menu? Correct. So Randall is going to menu in the... Well, technically... He's, Randall is going to menu in the badge check, and he's going to teach strength to his uh, Sandshrew. Oh, technically not, because he already tied to Sandshrew. But he's going to repel in badge check, while Main is going to have to repel and teach strength in the uh, check for in victory road after risking eight tiles. And then, because Main will only have two repels for Victory Road, he will have to risk some uh, normal tiles for the end of Victory Road. We see Randall hitting his Blizzard, Main getting a Rain Dance, so he just gets to surf this Gyarados. Slow though, because of Rain Dance text. We might actually see Randall catch up here if he doesn't get rain dance and he just hits the blizzard. Main did main X speed? Because if he didn't then this can be very scary. He did not, he gets disabled though. Very scary, because if he gets Psychic there, he might be in range. 56 health. With Modest, 29. Was a max roll of 57, so he risked that range there. 
one in 16 high roll of 57 so he was at 56 it was very unlikely for it to happen but yes he was still risking that hardly a risk until it hits that high roll Did Kadir not exec? If so, then that's a very risky play. But makes sense if he's trying to catch up. Because he is not on pace to beat Cooker. So he's just trying to get second. Goes for the blizzard. He hits another blizzard. Very, very risky, but looking like it's paying out. Gonna have to X speed here unless he wants to risk the calm mind. Like Main did. Gets takedown. And this is a free fight for Kadir now. Main is starting Victory Road as long along with Randall, so they are very close, pushing some boulders. Imagine risking a 70% for world record. Especially on a fight that could very easily kill you. Pretty clean victory road so far. As I say that, Randall messes up, not like this. So, we see Kadir, he's surfing in the badge check. He's gonna repel here now. Doing the same repel strat that Randall is. Main is going for the optimal repel strat, hoping that he does not get an encounter at the end. In your opinion, you think Kadir still has a chance to get second? Um, if Randall has a death. That's the only real reason. Or if Randall has a really slow Lorelei and Kadir gets like Haloist plus fast Lorelei. It's going to be very hard for Kadir to catch up unless Randall has a death. Kadir needs sub 210 or he needs to beat Randall. Both what, are going to be hard. What is his current pace at? He's currently 210, 211 pace. Main grabbing full restores. Rando about to drop the Pokemon into the PC, the PC heal. Okay, we see main star in the Lorelei fight. We'll see if he can get some Halos going. And he gets Hail turn one, not like this dude. And we see Randall going into Lorelei. Only a couple seconds after him, probably like 20 seconds behind him. for the special gets safeguard is he gonna get it Ooh. 
Randall going for pokey eye strats. He gets the flinch. Just don't hit it into range and he gets Halus. That that looks like he got Halus to me. As long as no heal and he's good. Yep, that's Halus for Randall. That very well could be the thing that catches up Randall. Hill takes a while off of your Lorelei time, so could be very useful. Randall gets no protect from the Cloister as well. Main's at low enough HP where he's either risking a crit or he's gonna have to heal on this Lapras. Which is not a good thing to see because he could get confused, Ray. Right? Randall's also at high enough HP where if he doesn't get turn one body slam, he's not good. Oh, main getting confused, Ray. Does he just heal it? He risks it. He hits through. Gotta risk one more. Oh, he gets paralyzed. Uh, and uh, he, he healed on the dugong. And then got hit with a nice beam. Main hit through. He's paralyzed, though, so he's gonna have to heal that. Uh, and La Randall is actually very much close to him. Only a couple seconds off, probably like 10 seconds off. This is a close race. Looking like Kadir also going for Pokey Ice Strats and getting Halos as well. Trying Where? to get time save. Where would main heal at? Before the fight, or he can go for uh, Forest or turn one, which it looks like he's doing. Yep. Bane getting Rock Tomb there after EQ. Randall getting a rock to miss. What is happening? Main going for the guard spec to take a little bit more damage. And then you get the rock to miss. No, dude. And he's too low now. He's going to have to heal. Randall at good HP through the Onyx before main. Randall is now in the lead. We have a race, ladies and gentlemen. See Kadir using Super Potion, going for high HP strats on Bruno. No save for Kadir. Yeah, Randall now heading to Agatha. We'll see if he goes for the save. It'd be smart for him to save here. Same, honestly, same thing for main. Here gets rock tomb. The EQ speeds here. Good idea. Uh, 54. That's a little high. I'd guard spec here. 
And he's at good HP. Deer is through Bruno. Randall going for a super after getting Shadow Punch turn one. He's definitely in range there. 32 HP. What's that range? Mild 30. 33 max roll. So he's definitely in range there and you risk that. They are so close now. They are literally neck and neck synced up. This is crazy. Looks like Randall's mashing just a little bit faster, or it could be the MU time save. Randall's just barely ahead of him. Super close race. We see Kadir just yellowing into Agatha. No save, no more. He wants to get that time. He knows that if he is not getting sub 210, then he's out, so he's just risking it. Randall just a smidgen faster currently. I mean, you're not wrong, Mockwing. This forest store does need to heal less. Making him just barely ahead. Randall going for the save, and so does Maine. Kadir getting through Agatha. Going for the third place time over Cooker. We'll see if he does get it. As Randall and Maine both head into Lance. We'll see what strats they decide to do. Main 30, Randall 31. We'll see if Randall goes for the risky strat. Seems like Randall is. Ain't going for the bite. Randall going for bite bite Akblizz. That's definitely range. He's going to have to heal that. Main is through on the Gyarados, just ahead of Randall. It's Hyper Beam Miss! Wow! This is super close. We'll see if either of them miss a Blizzard here. That Hyper Beam miss for Randall is absolutely huge. Uh, main might be in Hyper Beam range for the Aerodactyl. Uh, modest with 22 defense. 67 is what... So, main is out of Hyper Beam range here as well. Main through the Aerodactyl, Randall right behind him. Deer going for the bite on the Gyarados, gets the flinch, goes for the second bite, gets a bite back, and he's, as long as he hits. Fifty-eight, he's in range, it's better off for him to heal here. Main saving. Will Randall save? This is where we find out if Randall is full risk or not. He is. Main entering the champ fight before Randall does. Randall trying to commit to taking second place if he does not. If neither of them have a bad fight.
see Kadir hitting his blizzards. He's gonna have one more to hit. He hits it on the Dragonite. Both Randall and Main setting up. Both roughly around the same HP. Both setting up specials. Randall forgot to set up his speed earlier, so... Main at 65, Randall at 63, both at plus 3. Kadir threw Lance, he's got one more fight to go. Do you think he'll save? I have no clue, he's on 209 pace, if he dies then that's pretty much it. I don't think it's good for Kadir to save here. Both Randall and Main hitting blizzards, and Kadir goes into the champ, full YOLO, trying to make it through to the next round. Randall is in crit range. And main is... Both of them are in crit range from Arcanine. We'll see if either of them want to risk it. Kadir is definitely on 209 pace. If he just makes it through... Yeah, both Randall and main are stealing here. Main is still in range for him to get crit on Arcanine, and Randall is at safe HP. This is gonna come down to Main getting crit or not. He does not, that's GG's to both. Main takes it just barely, came down to E4. Kadir hitting his blizzard. We'll see if Kadir will make it. Kadir just has to sit, play safe. He plays it safe and he's pretty much through here. Kadir flinches here, and this is definitely a great time for Kadir to make it through. Yeah. For sure, probably G-Shark. Unless we have another race where someone gets sub-209. Well, one last race tomorrow. Correct, we'll see how it goes. Randall and Main finishing super close to each other. Main finishing with the 207.53 and Randall finishing with the 208. Kadir is safely through with a Low 209. GG's main. Yeah, G job. GG's. Really close race, really close. Hype to the very end. Yeah, it was. It really was. I mean, when I saw him get Hailus, I was like, is he, is he gonna catch me right now? <laughs> like, <laughs> but, I mean, I, I think I played pretty good. Um, I didn't get the best luck in the world, but, especially, but it wasn't anything too bad, but, it wasn't super fast, but, yeah, I was really close. <laughs> It, it was, ugh, it was close. Y'all were like <laughs> 20 seconds between each other from Rival 4 onward. It was super close. I definitely made some execution mistakes for sure, but I don't think I made any like mental mistakes. Um, but I mean, I obviously played really safe for a lot of it, obviously, but because even on champ, it's like, I got you. Got to save because Kadir's like right there. Like I'm not gonna risk. I was gonna double. I was actually gonna double X Act too if I got growth, just so I didn't 
I mean, yeah, that, that's you know. honestly always the safe play. Even if you don't get first in the race, just advancing is always a good thing. It's like the first race that actually felt somewhat consistent with the strats that I did. I mean, I did a lot of like, I did some Wanley strats. I did, I did a Truly strat. I did some safety stuff. Um, my my biggest thing was um, I should have just I I should have bit the last audition tunnel. That was like the one thing that I regret because. I got, I lost a good amount of time there, but everything else was good. I mean, my surge was weird. I mean, that was really weird. Oh yeah. Um, you got shockwave turn one, right? Yeah. I got shockwave turn one crit from. Well, I got shockwave crit from Vol Voltorb, and then I was at 42, and the roll oh. was 36 to 41, with 42 being the one in 16 roll. So I thought I was still good. So I, I mean, I went, and he shockwaved me, and then you know, luckily I had quick was in quick attack range, so. Okay. And then, you know, I was torrent pull, so it was like low enough to the point where I can just go, even if he double teams. So I mean, it worked out. So uh, yeah, makes sense. But dang, um, GG's Randall. GG. Yeah. Well, GG's. Close to the end, Kadir is going to be advancing with the two hundred nine twenty, or he has a chance to advance with the two hundred nine twenty four, bopping Cooker out. He, Cooker is now eliminated. For a third place finish. Ooh. We'll see. We have one more race left. We'll see if the third place racer will finish better than the 20924 between Nerdy Mang Bang and Amoeba. I really wasn't sure how close that was, but I mean, that was, yeah. I mean, you probably should have beat me um, with that stuff in Surge's gym, but. It, it happens. I mean. I got, like, really lucky because I don't think I missed a single kick or Blizzard. So like, I yeah, didn't deserve I, that. I mean, I, I I also yeah I also hit Dan, um, which was pretty annoying. Um, and then, I mean yeah, Alicia and Alicia was fine. I mean I I missed I don't know how many kicks I missed. I mean it wasn't that many, but it was. I definitely should have bit the last Oddish. That's I really I'm gonna do that next time I think because it's just useless time time loss. Do some Wanley Wanley strats. Makes sense. I did. I did one of these all like super <laughs> crazy chicken buy too, where I I sold rock tomb and bought eleven potions and four of every status item. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It definitely can come in handy, especially if you get completely screwed over by statuses and just run out of status items. Oh yeah, my Bruno was bullshit too. I just remembered that was such bullshit. I mean, I play. I luckily I didn't like misplay it and die, but like that was. Randall literally... actually took the lead there for so I... like 10 seconds with <laughs> yeah. that Bruno. So I did full resource strats because I was paralyzed. So I, it was like last turn and I speeded and then, you know, I, I wasn't in torrent. So I had to guard spec and then he, as soon as I guard spec, he missed rock tomb. And then instead of rock tombing again, he earthquake me into mock punch range. So I had to fucking heal. And yeah, that was just really, really slow. But my, my Lance was good. I mean, even though I kind of, even though I risked it, I risked the blizzard on the last turn, but it's fine. Welcome, Kadir. GG's. Kadir, let's go. Hi, everyone. That Hi. E4 G4. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so um, after Rival 2, Bridge Rival, I was uh, behind, like, throughout the whole run. So I decided that. Um, I think it was uh, beginning with Tower Rival that I'm not gonna save a single time anymore. Yeah, you can't. And have to, yeah. I was I was behind like uh, with my uh, last race, which was a two eleven something by one and a half minute, I guess. Uh, during flute uh, flute split, but ended up uh, getting minus two twelve at the end of the run. But I guess if you don't save, the time saves just if you like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. and we, we had to save because if we died, like you were right there, so we couldn't like, so me and him both saved for every E4 member. Well, I guess for the first one, you don't need to save for that one. But... Yeah. I was, and, and I was while, while I was running, season. while I was running and I'm, well, I was watching the race, and I see you both uh, guys, uh, like Randall, 
crit the uh, mug and the wheezing, and I don't know main the, the, this and that, and I see no no one of you, yeah. no one of you does uh, get any bad RNG. So I was saying, I gotta go full full uh, danger mode. Or I don't know how you call it. Yeah, so, I mean. Yeah. At least for me, I played very safe the whole run, like with strats and whatnot, because I, I was ahead, so I just wanted to not die. So yeah, main, you finished, you finished first, right? Correct. Yeah, main barely. The two hundred seven fifty three. Randall finished with a two hundred eight zero zero, and you finished with the two hundred nine twenty four, which is honestly a really good time and very going to be very interesting to see if anyone in the last race in third place could beat that time. Yeah. Nerdy Bang and Amoeba. I mean, it's not uh, unbeatable, so I'm still yeah. not confident that I will once. Really let's, 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 let's see yeah. what happens tomorrow. Definitely. Uh, so the next race is going to be tomorrow uh, between Bang, Amoeba, and nerdy and that is going to be on psr tv one uh at 4 30 eastern so hope to see y'all there gg better be there bang yeah we hope you make it kadir because yeah you got screwed in on rival two like you did you didn't yeah, deserve I, to I advance was three mm -hmm. misses yeah the in the first half i had a lot of mega kick misses, especially on Bridge Rival, where I died twice to Bobzo. And after that, it was a little bit better. But yeah, all in all, like I got out of Geo, Geo, Geo 1 uh, at about 70 health or something. And then I had to stall like three or four turns on Gyarados and Tower Rival and such bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I hope to see you guys in the third round again, but what my hopes are like 50-50. That'd be sick. Yeah, That'd be awful. Hopefully. I'd scream, personally. <laughs> no yeah. optionals, Randall, right? You did it. Uh, yes, you you're right. Let's go. Oh, I get, I get, do you count that one? Because you reset it, but he just still pretend it was a can. Yeah, no, you're right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it's it. not three, it's though. Like optional, therefore, I'm counting it. <laughs> um. So, yeah. Net last race of the round will be uh, tomorrow at 4.30 Eastern. And then, uh, I, as Mockwing is saying, even though he's saying Kappa, it, half hour after that race, we will have oh draws gosh, for round three. And then round three will go from the 18th until the 24th. So we will see you all. Hope to see you all in the next race and hope you all have a good night. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Jeez. See you all. Hope you all enjoyed the show. <laughs>